implemented on 1st of May 1990, the Certificate of Entitlement, better known as COE, was put in place to control the growing number of cars in Singapore. With the heights that the COE has reached, however, the effectiveness of the system has been placed in the limelight. Christopher, you wrote in a piece recently that there should be a thorough review of the system instead of just putting put piecemeal measures, right? So what do you think is wrong with the system? Mm. I think uh, one of the main things that is wrong with the system is that um, the supply of COEs has been very uneven. So in some years, you have 100 over 1,000 pieces of COEs, and that will bring prices down to as low as below, below 20,000 for a piece of COE. And then you have years like now, where you have only about 20,000 pieces of COE a year. And that you know, kind of uh, shoots up, that, that kind of uh, props up the, the prices to record levels. So you have this kind of uh, unevenness. I don't think that is uh, desirable. What would be a better solution for, instead of like what has already been proposed? Ultimately, I think uh, what we want to address is congestion, isn't it? And, and so, um, you know, population control is one way of controlling congestion, of managing congestion. And the other would be to um, have a more uh, comprehensive uh, usage-based kind of pricing. Uh, we have ERP, but perhaps the ERP as we have it so far is not uh, sophisticated enough to um, influence the way we use our cars. Um, so the government has talked about ERP2, which is a more sophisticated system which can charge according to your distance that you cover. Uh, I, I think if, if that ever comes about, uh, that should uh, control congestion in a more effective way. So right now I think the measures that we have is more, sl more weighted on the uh, purchase end rather than the usage end. So we need to shift some of that over to the usage end. Yeah, because if you have too much weighted on the on the purchase end, uh, people pay so much for a car, well, I mean, the, 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 the result would be that they want to use it as much as possible. So it doesn't matter how high the ERP is? That's right. If you were to know that like, how there will be higher ERPs, will that deter you from, say, buying a car? I mean, for ERP, it will be more of um, you know per usage basis. I will definitely have to then have to plan my my my, my travel to to make sure that you know is you know I, I can minimize my cost while while doing my travel. But um, you know, as Raymond said also, I have to get to my destination on time. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, public transport definitely, if I consider that, it must also be uh, efficient for me to get there. Are there any things that the government needs to take note of when they come up with further measures? I suppose you have to look at the whole um, situation. I mean, we, we in Singapore, we have the highest GDP in the world. And, and, you know, uh, and yet, our, actually, our car ownership is equivalent to some of the more, what do you call it, the poorer countries. Um, is, 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 that, um, is that the right kind of balance uh, we, we should have? Or should we allow people to own cars because that's a natural aspiration of wealth, of affluence, and then control the usage? I, I mean, I've always been stressing on that. You know, in, in a lot of developed cities in the world, uh, car ownership actually is quite high. Um, but people take public transport and they use their cars quite judiciously because the cars are not so expensive. So the opportunity cost or the cost of not using it is actually quite low so they can leave it at home and you know they take the train or the bus during peak hours and then maybe use the car at night or on weekends before you want to control the usage you have to be make sure that the public transport is very it's different you see Hong Kong they've got very high population but the thing is that there's not much because their public transport is very good yeah you see everybody take their trains from one point to the other point. Only that maybe on short distance, family use, then they will use cars. If not, they, they will use trains. Yeah. That's all we have for today. Thank you, panelists, for participating in this episode of Point Blank. Watch our other clips for more on our discussions about car ownership in Singapore.